guys. Keep going for your hosts, keep going for yourselves. I appreciate you guys coming out. Energy in the room, yes, 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 I need it. I need it. Give me a tape so I can perform in better rooms. So I don't have to bring half of my friend group and the hinge dates to the, the show, you know. You're a trooper, you are. I'll see you at the crib later, all right. We share a wall, so yeah, I'll see you later, yeah. I'll hear you later, yeah. Um, a little bit about me, uh, I just moved to New York, I'm new. Uh, and with that, I'm meeting a lot of people for the first time, you know, a lot of first impressions. And what I'm getting a lot of is people come up to me and they're like, oh, you're like a California guy, right? You're like a LA dude, right, Sean? And it's like, listen, I don't know how this happened to my voice either, okay? Like, I got on a longboard one time, and this shit kind of just happened to me, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm from Boston, dude. Like, people do not sound like this from Boston. People in Boston sound like they're doing hate speech when they're saying woke things actively. You know? <laughs> like, like, there's like, believe women, you fucking cocks, <laughs> you know? They're like, Black Lives Matter, you fucking fairy. Ooh, so close, you so close. Uh, another thing I get a lot of is that uh, I look young, you know, people like, that annoying for you, you get like carded all the time, is that it embarrassing for you? I'm like, you know what? Fuck no, dude, because I'm gonna be cutting it up in an old folks home like 50 years from now, okay? I'm gonna be looking young, looking good, I'm gonna put the spice in the hospice, you understand me? Yes. yes. Old pussy, young pussy, probably mostly old pussy, crushed up Seattle's all over my fucking face, playing backgammon for axe, you feel me? Yes. Yes! Woo! But, uh, I am getting older though, I am. And with that, uh, being well read it becomes more of a thing. You know, the girls are always asking me, like, what I'm reading. <laughs> Have I read a lot of books? <laughs> it's like, yeah, by books you mean anime subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> I have read thousands of books. Um, another thing about me is uh, I've been going to the gym a lot more than I've ever gone to in my life. That's good, that's healthy, yes, yes. yes. Uh, it's because I'm unemployed, don't clap. I have a lot of time on my hands, that's why I just, you know, me and my unemployed kings. Woo! Just tearing up the Blink Fitness, you feel me? You know, eight bucks a month, two hours of 11 and one, there's no way we have any job prospects on the line. You know? <laughs> and like, that's why I'm so like jazzed up right now. I got like pre-workout, like coursing through my veins, which is essentially meth. And I'm also prescribed Adderall, which is chemically meth, you know? <laughs> But uh, there are a lot of unspoken rules at the gym, that's what I'm finding out. A lot of unspoken rules. Like I worked out without wearing headphones for the first time recently. Uh, enormous mistake, holy shit guys. I had no idea people counted it out loud, you know? Like I wish I was punching this up for a joke, but there's this guy next to me, and you know, I heard like every fucking wave of sound. He's just like, one, two, three. I love to do that very sex and just be like, one! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, as uh, Ronnie so kindly mentioned, uh, people do tell me I look like Adam Driver sometimes. It happens. Which is pretty much just like, a nice way of telling me that I look like the middle of an anamorph, you know? Like, <laughs> cool, it's, it's like, it looks weird. You're telling me I look weird. Like, cool, you know? Yeah, it's like a fucking naked, like skinless cat at one end, and me fucking out in the middle. You know? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's so true. You made a hyena noise. Why does it sound like you made a hyena noise? Good joke, man. That was good, yeah. Um, but, you know, I do get it so often that I have to think, you know, I have to, like, intersect our lives a little bit. I'm like, dude, what if Adam Driver was a stand-up, it's just like intense ass, just like comes out just like, hello, how are we doing tonight? Are we feeling good tonight? You, where are you from? New York. I heard Mishawaka, Indiana. Funny, that's where I'm from. Do you know what Mishawaka, Indiana is known for? Me, it's known for me. That is the permanent capital of the world. Don't laugh, it's true. It's about my hometown, and it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was recently nominated for an Oscar for the movie Marriage Story. But truth be told,
told I wasn't married in it for very long. In my opinion, they should have called it Divorce Story. Don't laugh, it's true. It was a feeling I was in, and it's true. I don't know how this show is going to go. This happened today, but I'm, I'm going to let it fly. Fuck it. Um, I woke up this morning and uh, I was tagging a bunch of Neil deGrasse Tyson <laughs> tweets for some reason, right? And uh, apparently that like marriage story joke I like, just did, he like quoted verbatim. And like I posted the set of me doing that online and it like, got like a good amount of like love. So there's like a chance he saw it. But you know what? Like I'm taking this chance to call Neil deGrasse Tyson a thief and a fucking liar. <laughs> and Neil, if you're watching this, dude, if you're fucking watching this, I'm gonna like drop my like foot on your ass at 9.8 meters per second. Fuck you, Neil. <laughs>